This video is going to cover the creation of reward levels within the project, the creation of products that will be associated with those reward levels. To start off, we have our project and we're going to create four different reward levels. Each level will have a unique price and you can add a description as you like. I'm not going to worry about level limits. This is what you use if you only have five rewards to give. You want to assign a limit to the number of people that can purchase it. The level order, if you're creating your reward levels in the correct order you want them to appear on the project, you do not need to do anything with this here. However, if as the project goes on, you add new reward levels, you may want to change the order level here, which you could do using this field. Keep in mind that your reward level order must start with a zero. Otherwise, it will mess up your order listing and connections. This is because computer code starts lists with zero and not one. So we'll create our second level here. And our third. And we're also going to create a pay what you want, which we can leave the price as blank because this is going to be entered by the supporter. Now that we have our levels, we will save the project. We are now in the IDC main tab for the product settings. We are going to create our reward levels. I've already created these ones in an earlier video, but we're going to use them here. So the product name I'm using was exact same as the reward level that I had already created, just to keep everything very clear as to where, where the products are going. So commission deck one at $10. Ignition Deck 2 was $20. We're also using the order transaction type. What this is, is the immediate transfer. So the money will be captured from this quarter immediately. Three, $30. And we pay what you want. Here I have actually entered $1. And the reason for this is that it guarantees a minimum pledge by the supporter. Now that we have our products created, we're going to link them to the reward levels. We do this in IDC crowdfunding. We'll now select each of the products and assign them to the correct reward level. The here is where the product name and the reward level name is very handy. As you can see, the box is now grayed out, so it's no longer selectable. That connection has been made. Now that we have all of the reward levels connected to products, we can now view the project on the front page and see how our checkout works. When we view the project now on the front end, we can see our four reward levels that we set up, including the pay what you want. Clicking on the support now button brings up our drop menu with our various reward levels. So let's do the pay what you want. And we can see in our checkout that we are now being directed to PayPal or if you have Stripe or another processor available, that option will be available to you as well. And we can proceed to the payment gateway. Be sure to check our documentation and forms if you have any questions.